Hey everyone, I'm Brie. Whenever I find an all natural remedy I think could fix one of my problems, you better believe I'm on it. For the next week, I'm going to be putting myself through my very own experiment. I'm going to be using Manuka honey as a face mask for the next seven days to see if all of the hype around Manuka honey is actually legit or not. If you haven't heard of Manuka honey, it is honey sourced from bees in New Zealand that feed off the Manuka shrub. The Manuka shrub is part of the tea tree family, which I'm sure you've probably heard before. Manuka is known to be rich in antioxidants, super hydrating, and has been shown to help with skin regeneration by fixing cellular damage and lessening scars, which is pretty much everything my skin needs and more. After the seven days is up, I will let you guys know if I find Manuka honey worth all the hype or not. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone. So it's night one of our Manuka honey face mask. I'm gonna wash my face real quick and then we'll get to it. All right, so this is what a typical package of Manuka honey looks like at your store. I'll show you what the honey actually looks like in a second. One thing I'm hoping to get from this little experiment of mine is to combat this super dry winter skin I always get. If you've never seen Manuka honey, you will see it's really thick. There's like a texture to it. I am going to let these masks sit for about 30 minutes to an hour before I rinse them. All the research I have read on this pretty much just states like the longer the better. A lot of people use Manuka honey as a spot treatment. If you've never actually tasted Manuka honey, I think I prefer it better than traditional honey. It's a little less sweet. I don't know, it just has a really great flavor. It's not messy and just gotta clean up what's on my hands, like a typical face mask. I will see you guys after this time frame is up. It's been about 40 minutes now. Um, I don't have any drips or anything from the honey, so if any of you were worried about that. So let's rinse this off and see what the verdict is after day one. Wow, that came off so easy. I'm not mad at all. My skin feels really, really soft. And it also feels a lot more moisturized and looks a lot more alive. So far, I'm impressed. We'll see how like multiple days of doing it goes. So yeah, see you tomorrow. All right, so it's been seven days and here's my verdict. I'm a fan. This is definitely something that I'm going to be keeping in my skincare routine. Definitely not as an everyday thing, but I do want to supplement it in once or twice a week and here's why. Right off the bat, I noticed a complete difference in brightness and softness in my skin. And this was something that just overall kept getting better and better throughout the week. My skin tone also evened out a ton. All of the redness that you typically see around your nose and dark circles, those things just kept diminishing little by little by little, especially the reddening around my nose. That's something that I've never been able to fight off no matter what I do. So for that to be something that I've noticed from just doing this Manuka honey face mask, why have I not known about it? That's what I want to know. It also did seem to help me with my winter dry skin I was talking about earlier in this video. I did supplement argon oil twice a day after washing my face in the morning and at night. That's something that I've always done previously as well. But the thing I did notice was my skin didn't get dried out as fast. Last but not least, my final takeaway, this one is for you ladies. I did this little experiment the week before my period which we all know can be absolutely terrible for your skin. Typically, I am someone that breaks out. That acne will kind of linger for a day or two and I didn't have anything. So that was like huge for me. That's all the takeaways I have for doing this experiment with Manuka Honey for seven days. If you guys are interested in trying the experiment, let me know in the comments below. Or if you've actually used Manuka Honey before, what was your experience? Let me know. That's all I have for today, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.